What is up, you friggin' genius? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to raise a power to a power, or an exponent to an exponent. Okay, so the little equation we're gonna use for this one to help guide us, right? Jesus, take the wheel, all right? It's gonna be a to the x to the y is equal to a to the x times y. All right, so this is just saying, if you have a number, <laughs> get it, a, a, all right, a number raised to an exponent, and then you have that whole thing raised to another exponent, then you're just gonna multiply the two exponents together. So let's see an example, and as always, we're gonna start with an easy one, and then we're gonna get progressively harder from here. So the first one I'm gonna give you is two, to the third power raised to the second power. So this is just gonna be simplified. This is gonna be two to the three times two, okay? So let's take a quick second to see what we're doing. All right, so we have a number raised to an exponent, right? A number raised to an exponent. And then this whole thing is getting raised to another exponent, right? It's getting raised to another exponent. So we're just gonna multiply the two exponents together. So three and two, three and two. So simplified, this is gonna equal two to the sixth, which is equal to 64, positive 64. So not too bad, right? So let's get into another example. Now, if we had five to the ninth power and this whole thing raised to the zero power, okay, so this is gonna be five to the nine times zero. So then this is gonna equal five to the zero and anything raised to the zero power is simply one. So I think that kind of makes sense, right? So let's get into some negative examples. Now, if we have negative four cubed, and then we're raising this whole thing to the first power, well, this base, we just keep it, so this is still just negative four, and then we're gonna multiply the two exponents together. So three times one. So then this is gonna equal negative four cubed, which is equal to negative four times negative four times negative four, which is negative 64. Boom. Now let's do a couple more negative problems and then we're gonna jump into a couple fraction problems, all right? So now what if we had three to the negative two and this whole thing squared? So this is our base, right? So we're gonna keep it and then we're just gonna multiply the two exponents together. So negative two times two. So this is equal to three to the negative four. All right, so what do you do when you have a negative exponent? Well, you just throw this whole thing to the bottom and put it over one, right? And then you make the exponent positive. So it'd look like this. So you're gonna throw this whole thing to the bottom, make the exponent positive, and just put that over one. Okay, so we have one over three to the fourth, which is equal to one over 81. And that is your answer. Now, you know what? Let's just make everything negative. So if we had negative two to the negative three to the negative one, oh my God, what is this? All right, calm down. We're just gonna follow our steps, right? So we have negative two, that's our base. So we're gonna put that there. And then our two exponents, negative three, negative one, we're gonna multiply those together. So negative three times negative one so this is gonna equal negative two, and then negative three times negative one is positive three. So then we have negative two cubed, right? Which is just negative two times negative two times negative two, which is equal to negative eight. All right, now let's throw a couple fraction examples just to really set things on fire in your brain. Now, if we have negative one half cubed, and then this whole thing, we're gonna raise it to the second power. Okay, I know this looks gross, but we can do this. So this is our base, right? So we're gonna keep that. 
and then we're just going to multiply those two exponents together. So we're going to have negative one half raised to the three times two. Okay, so this is going to be negative one half raised to the sixth power. Okay, so what's negative one half raised to the sixth? Well, we have a fraction here, right, being raised to an exponent, so we can just split this. So we're going to have one to the sixth over two to the sixth. But what do I do with this negative sign? Well, I'm going to just temporarily ignore it right now, okay? It's still there. I'm not going to forget about it. We're just going to finish solving this, and then we're going to come back to the negative sign. So let's just solve this as is, all right? And I'm going to bring it down over here, okay? So one to the sixth, that is equal to one, and two to the sixth is equal to 64. Okay, but remember, we have this negative sign, right? So is our answer positive or negative? Well, that all depends on the exponent. Okay, so whenever we have a negative base like this, right, so negative one-half is our base, whenever we have a negative base, if our exponent is even, if it's an even number, our answer is going to be positive. If our exponent is odd, our answer is going to be negative. So is six even or odd? Well, six is obviously even, right? So our answer is positive. Positive one over 64. And just for good measure, I'll write it out, right? So this is, again, for negative bases. I know I've pointed this out in other videos. I just want you guys to really understand it. So if we have an even exponent, our answer is positive. If our exponent is an odd number, our answer is negative. So in this case, we had an even exponent, right? So our answer was positive. All right, let's do one last example. Now, what if I gave you nine over seven raised to the negative one, and then we're gonna raise this whole thing, this whole thing to the second power. All right, so this isn't too bad, right? Nine over seven, that's our base. So we keep it, and then all we're gonna do is multiply these two together, right? So we're gonna have negative one times two. So this is gonna equal nine over seven to the negative second power. So I gave you a little tip for negative bases. Now I'm gonna give you a tip for negative exponents. Okay, so this is different, right? So when you have a negative exponent, an easy way to solve this is to simply flip your fraction and then make this positive. Okay, so this would look like seven over nine to the positive two. So now we don't have to worry about this negative exponent. So we have seven over nine raised to the second power. Okay, so we can just split this up. So this is gonna equal seven squared over nine squared, which is simply equal to 49 over 81. And this is positive. All right guys, so that's how you raise a power to a power. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. I have a whole algebra and exponent playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's anything else you need to check out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.